Well, hello everyone. We are updating the backyard with a sink and a shower. So what I wanted here in the backyard was a way to process my produce. And then I also have a very tiny bathroom, so I wanted a way to shower outdoors here. And then we're building this custom mesh drying rack right here so you can wash and cut with this little cutting board right here. And then you'll be able to air dry the produce here before it goes indoors. So what's gonna go on here is we're gonna have these big panels, these out deco panels right here with this sort of wooden look, sort of planty wooden look. What we're gonna do is pour some footers here and then these panels are gonna kinda come up like this. And the shower actually is gonna be in this little quadrant here. And you'll be able to walk in from this area and then the pathway, <laughs> it's all ripped up. It's gonna go right down through here. So I know we have talked about the coop, we've talked about the compost bin and the papers. There's so many different projects. They're all happening at pretty much the exact same time, which definitely makes it challenging to film, but I'm gonna try to cover it and give you guys as much info as I can as far as why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, how much it might cost, how you could do this at your own homestead. So let's keep going. So here's the sink that I've chosen. It's from Kraus. absolutely. Massive. It is huge. It's 31 inches across and it kind of is cool because it comes with like these little accessories like This mesh drying rack here as well as this little sit-in cutting board right here. So Francisco's here smoothing it out. What did you use in the concrete to make it black? Uh, we use this type of uh, color so This is a color savings. Oh, okay. color. Yeah, so this is a uh, black so we put two pounds of this for uh, two bags of uh, concrete. Is it expensive, this here? This one is super pricey, probably like $15. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. But it's up there if you're pouring a big thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So now you're just kind of troweling it smooth? No, actually just, just kind of to get firm, to be nice and level. Yeah, so and we've even got the rebar coming through here yeah. too for solidity. Yeah. yeah. Nice, this can be solid. So that's what's going on with the sink right now. But over here, what we're doing is putting some cinder block footers in with, there's a couple pieces of metal you can see way over there that are gonna hold the four by fours to hold those out deco panels that I showed you a little earlier. We needed this footer because those panels are only six feet tall and I'm over six feet tall. So for a little shower privacy, we want this to be a lot higher. So we're gonna build the bottom up and then put those panels on the bottom there and have them rise up to about seven or eight feet or so. So this whole area will be a nice little shower. And now I'm gonna show you the paper ideas. All right, out here you can see we have no concrete left and there's a huge hole everywhere in the front yard here. You're getting a little sneak peek of some upcoming products for birdies, guys, so keep an eye out. But there's gonna be an entire garden pathway coming out here and going straight back here, which is actually gonna move the fence over slightly. But I'm gonna show you the pattern that I've chosen. I think it's pretty cool. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. This is coming out of Acker Stone. They had some overage product that they were very generous and donated to us here at the homestead. But I wanted this kind of classic older look without having to lay each individual cobble. So you have this five piece here and it's solid on the bottom. And then you just arrange that in a pattern like this. And then I wanted kind of like a modern edging. So we use this sable black concrete paper here to kind of edge this side. And there'll of course be another one on that side. So I think it looks pretty cool. You come on, nice little cobblestone coming straight through as you get in through this gate here. Whoop, and just zipping straight back. All right, the pour is done on the sink. So you can see where the sink's framed out here. And then this is the slot for the mesh drying rack. So what's cool is on this edge, I can build something that's a wire drying rack. I can put another cutting board in here. So I can make it a completely flush surface if I want, but it also has some fall through capabilities if I do want some airflow here. And then I'll update you on what's going on here. So the way we decided to do this, instead of doing it with pure concrete, because it was so expensive, we went with cinder blocks that we're gonna stucco and then we used these somewhat expensive metal brackets here. The price of those pretty much doubled, so they're quite expensive. But this is gonna be the shower area. You'll kind of walk in through this area right here. And then we're gonna to have to make sure that we seal this whole area off. You don't want water falling towards your house. And we'll probably dig a drainage ditch out this way over towards that tank. And then from there I can decide what I wanna do with all the water that's coming out. Okay, we've removed the sides of the forms. And then Francisco, how do you actually smooth this out? You gotta use the, the trowels yeah. to smooth, and smooth it out. Right? So first of all, you gotta kinda get everything together straight. 
And then from that point, you little by little, you're gonna start trying, doing the trying. Yeah. So that way you can get the, the finish of the trowel. And that's like a little angled trowel to cr create the corner. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's quarter gorgeous. inch radius. Perfect. So this is the tri tricky part. You know what I mean? This is where it requires the craftsman's hands. That's right. <laughs> oh, that looks so satisfying. Wow. All right, we're gonna remove the final side form here. Take a look at it. Oh, it kind of just slides off like that, huh? Uh -huh? So that's what it looks like when it comes right off. Pretty rough, no edging at all. Nope. And then this is what Francisco did over here. And this isn't even done yet, but you can see there's a lip on the bottom and the top, it looks a lot cleaner. So that's what he's gonna do on this side. All right, we are back on the shower and sink build. We're setting the, the post base. Post base. For the yeah. Four by four. Yeah. So there's going to be four by four posts coming up, and then the panels over there are going to be set on the front face of it, so then it blocks everything off. But right now we're doing the stucco on the outside, and then just setting these bases in place. All right, Bendrick is here. I wore my best outfit. Today. She's wearing her Sunday best. <laughs> uh, so we've got all this stuccoed out yeah. for the most part. Just the the first coat. I'm gonna do a, a more significant coat later, a smoother coat. And then the bottom of the sink just got framed out with the cinder blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's in. And then this gives me the ability then to, in the future, build a face to this if I want to. Yeah, uh, whatever you wanna do, just, I think wood would look really nice because we have so much yep. in And we could use the uh, wood from the fence over there. Yeah, as like a color by the way. I think the color looks amazing. Yeah, so it's gonna yeah. fade a decent amount by the way. That's fine, because I think right now it's, it's kind of dark. If it's it gets a little dark. lighter, it's, yeah. It's nice. You could seal it to keep it uh, darker for longer, but this dark, dark color uh, tends to fade out maybe. I was expected to be like half this dark. Yeah, like two and years. I'll probably end up sealing it off. All right, it's time to put the sink in. Francisco's just lining up a bead of silicone around the edge here. Yeah, we just wiped this down, so it's sanded and wiped down. It's nice and smooth now. baby and take a look. I actually took the silicone off the extras, took the tape off, gave it a little clean down. Look at that. It's so smooth. The sinks in. Got this fancy little thing. I don't know. This came with a sink. Very cool. But the thing to talk about today is the pads. The pads are going down. So you're going to have three pads here to kind of hang out, elevate this up a little bit because I made that quite tall. And then in here, the forms have been placed and they're starting to pour the concrete for the shower. So what's interesting is if you're doing the color, you put the uncolored concrete below and then you just put the color on top, little top coat, I think it's called. You can see the drains in there. That drain's gonna run out and come over here. And the decision point is, what do you do as soon as you get to here? Do you hook it into my gray water system, which you guys who've been following Epic Home Sitting for a while know about, that pipe right there go straight out to the citrus over here. So do you bring this in and hook it into this system? Or do we say, you know what, I wanna create a different pocket and we hook it over maybe on this side or somewhere over there. Okay, Francisco, yeah. El Rey del Concreto. Negro. Del Concreto Negro. Well, not anymore because he's spraying this top cast on here, which he said was milk, but of course you're joking. <laughs> it is, uh, what, what is actually going on there, Francisco? Actually, we just put in some uh, concrete retarder yeah. on top of that. So, yeah. so that way tomorrow we can come back and wash it out and it's gonna give us the finish or the same finish on top of the surface of the concrete. Okay, so it's like a etching type of thing or yeah? It's the etching. And you just spray it on like that and leave it? Yes. And then wash it off tomorrow? Yes. Huh. That's amazing. So the last time we checked in, they had put the acid etch on these steps here. So I want to show you how pretty it looks. Take a look at what we did here. It kind of shows off some of this grain in the concrete. It's this nice dark color. We also did it to every part of the shower steps as well. So those have all been revealed. And we're looking more or less at structurally complete shower. I also threw in this incredible sink faucet and the sink is in, plumbing still not connected yet. The last piece of stonework that has to happen is the final coat of stucco on both the shower walls and the sink. But after that, it's the woodwork 
it's the stone pebbles that are gonna go in between and how we're gonna plant in between all these paper bases. And then it's building out the cabinets for the sink and also replacing that water heater so we can actually plumb up the shower and take a hot shower out here. That's gonna be on the next episode for this two-part build series. Stay tuned, good luck in the garden, and keep on growing.